Hello and welcome back to the chapter 1 power sharing class 9. In the last part we discussed about the problems in the Belgium and Sri Lanka and the we can recall that problems. In Belgium we saw that there was the ethnic composition and the tension there were tensions between the groups that were French speaking community that was in minority but had got more benefits and the Dutch speaking community which was in majority but got lesser benefits. This created tensions between those groups in the late 1950s and 60s. In this part we will study about the solutions that both the countries opted for and what were the solutions which were which worked well and in which country. So I am telling that the majoritarianism in Sri Lanka was not very much successful as it uh, divided the people very based on the discrimination. So Belgium was more successful at, as it had a very beautiful constitutional remedy. So let us start. Sri Lanka emerged as an independent country in 1948. So you should make a question here and write with your pen. Explain about the majoritarian measures that were taken in Sri Lanka. So the first point is here Sri Lanka emerged as an independent country. The leaders of the Sinhala community sought to secure dominance over government by virtue of the majority. So Sinhala community was in majority as we saw in the last video. So they wanted a control over the minority as every majority wants and this is very usual and normal that the majority m must have a thought that the minor minority should be in my control or my power. So there were majoritarian measures. In 1956 the first measure was taken, an act was passed to recognize Sinhala as the official language and disregarding the Tamil. So what are the majoritarian measures? What is the majoritarianism? Majoritarianism is a belief that the major majority community should be able to grasp the minority community and have a control on it and disregard it in whatever way it wants. So the first majority measure that Sri Lanka took was it passed an act to recognize Sinhala as an official language. The second majoritarian measure was that they favored Sinhala speakers for the government jobs. And the third and the last provision that was taken by Sri Lanka was to foster Buddhism. It was a religion based division and importance was given to Buddhism. All these government measures were gradually increased and the feeling of alienation among the Sri Lankan Tamils. They fe felt alienated, they felt separated, they fe felt segregated. So I am giving the new words of English also they felt segregated, separated and alienated. These all have the same meaning. They felt that none of the major, major political parties led by Buddhists and Hala leaders was sensitive to their language and culture. They felt very biased and they felt very discriminated on the basis of their religion and language and their culture. They uh, wanted an a state, an independent state, the Tamil Elam. They called it a Tamil Elam, and but their demands were not given any importance by the leaders. They also wanted an official language as Tamil and regional autonomy, quality of opportunity in, in government jobs. But the distrust between the two communities turned into widespread conflict. And it soon turned into a civil war. Civil war is a, uh, is such a type of uh, war which uh, continues between two 
groups within the country which appears like a war and it is not a, a war but it appears like a war it is so violent so this distrust caused a civil war as a result thousands of people have been killed many families left the country as refugees and many lost their livelihoods so this was the situation in sri lanka and the majoritarian measures were all the failure it resulted as a failure the consequences were not beneficial for anyone but now you will see a great policy that is accommodation policy and it is very very important for the board's exam and this question comes in the board exam like what were the accommodation policies taken in the belgium how belgium resolved its problem of segregation of the people on the basis of uh, french community and the dutch community or uh, how it resolved the tensions between the both the groups so the belgian model was very very beautiful and it recognized the existence of regional differences and cultural diversities there were constitutional amendments four constitutional amendments to work out an arrangement so that everyone are able to live in the same country and that too peacefully so the first amendment that they made and the first element of the uh, belgian model was that the constitution prescribed that number of dutch and french speaking members of the ministers shall be equal in the central government some special laws require the support of majority so the first provision was that the ministers of french community and the dutch community were equal in number in the central government second provision was that many powers of the central government were shifted to the state government so this explains that state government was given more power as the center it was not suppressed by the center it was given power as in india so the third provision that was made was brussels had a separate government in which there was equal representation of the both the communities the ministers of number of ministers were also equal in the capital city but here arises a question which is also very important and in between it is a very important in between question that why brussels accepted why dutch commu why french community accepted why french community in brussels accepted equal representation of the ministers because in the state the minority french speaking people had been accepted by the dutch speaking community that the ministers would be equal i hope you are understanding my point i repeat my point that the number of ministers in the central government were same and the french community was in minority but also then also the dutch community accepted their equal representation so in brussels french community returned them this equal representation so we studied the three provisions apart from this there was a apart from the central and state government there was a third type of government which was called community government it was to, known as community government it was elected by the linguistic groups of the society and it solved the riots and solved the issues language related issues this government has the power regarding cultural educational and language related issues so in this part we studied about the resolutions made by sri lanka and belgium but only belgium was succeeded in its motto in the next part we will study about the power sharing desirable why power sharing is desirable we will continue this topic till then goodbye thank you and
डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल